So we just went to Oklahoma hunting. My friend Jeff invited us out there. Me, Sarah, and Zach went out there looking for bucks. He took us around his property and he told us what was gonna go down the next few days. He'd been seeing some really nice deer and it was our turn to try to get a shot on one. Fishing videos before, and we're out here on a hunting trip. Paradise, baby! Whip of the land animal. Yep, living life. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you got, you got that right. And the door just absolutely slammed Zach. I slammed the door. Okay, he slammed the door. <laughs> oh my god. And you'll see there'll be almost a firm at the base of the trees. And then it, there's a void. Time to try to get a deer. afternoon hunting in Oklahoma. Stands are gonna put a big one down today. Got the feeling. 4:30 in the morning. We're going hunting. Jeff promised us a big buck. You better deliver. Our second hunt so far the trip. Saw lots of does. One buck with a messed up rack. No shots yet. Maybe this afternoon. Duck slayer. Duck master. Yeah. I need to go get me a duck now. All right, we need a big buck. Third hunt of the trip so far. Shot a big buck. <laughs> big for me, anyhow. He did. Jeff said I smoked him. Jeff saw him trotting in over there, 240 yards away. I told him I was comfortable about 50 yards. We see he's white. We think he's laying down. He's laying down. He smacked him. I am. <laughs> I'm shaking. I'm nervous, but I think we got big buck down, baby. <laughs> BBD. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, Oklahoma might have paid off. down we've been hunting a couple of days we got two nice bucks down there you guys unbelievable two bucks well, i shot the one and then another one came over started goring the other one and just blasted them too we got two bucks down oklahoma hunting i'm setting we're going to check them out and i don't do a lot of hunting that was 240 yards i shot my buck it just dropped I wasn't even sure if I hit it, and Jeff was looking, and he goes, oh, you dropped him, he's, he's laying down already. And then his buck walked up there. We got two bucks, we're eating dinner now. Sun setting, we're going to get them deer. We got back straps coming up on the Traeger, baby.
Yeah, you're we talking about it, and there he is. And there's the bucks, guys. Double header. What a night. Mission accomplished. What the boys do? We got groceries, baby. Bananas in Oklahoma for good luck hunting. Good morning, guys. We're going duck hunting. I've never duck hunted before. It's freezing cold. Not used to this weather. But uh, Anthony and Eric are getting us ready. Anthony promises lots of ducks. Heck yeah. At least one, right? We're going to limit it. 21. We're going to 18. 18? 18. Six apiece. So we can get 18 ducks. What do we get one? The duck calls? Yes, sir. Oh, well, we got them all. We got one. We need some more. Bring one tail. We got one. Yeah. Can we eat them? Heck yeah. Yeah, boy. Duck cat's gonna cook. Coming up. <laughs> It's a beautiful day. Sky is blue, it's not cloudy. It is freezing cold, 30 degrees. But the ducks just ain't flying good this morning. We saw a few, but not many. Kind of like fishing. We should have been here yesterday. We got one though. When I told Anthony we just needed one to cook, I was kind of joking, but I guess he thought I was serious. <laughs> good thing Anthony smoked a bunch yesterday. Anthony's going to get the duck right now. Go get him, Anthony. Good job, Anthony. What type of duck is this? This is Drake Mallard. Drake Mallard. Big mature one. Is he good eating? Heck yeah. Bird there. Those wings. All right, we got dinner now. All right, Anthony's gonna show us how to clean the mallard. Resting so, them. You're gonna first off peel off all the feathers right here and make you a nice opening. And then you're gonna get your fingers and your hands and you're gonna grab that skin. You're gonna split and pull down. They have a bone running right there, that white strip. So you're gonna get your knife and you're gonna start up here at the top and you're gonna cut all the way down to the end. And then you're gonna turn your knife and cut to the end of that. Turn the bird and grab right here. And it's almost like filleting a fish. You're gonna pull back and use your knife and skin off all that meat. And sometimes you can just pull it until you get to the parts where you need to use your knife. That's a duck breast. 
That's a duck breast. Right there, that's dinner. Heck yeah. We're eating duck breast today. This is our teal. We're gonna do breast as well. Pull off the feathers. What you're gonna do is get your fingers, rip it open. Anthony's taking the breast off the teal. We did the mallard before that. We're gonna cook them up and try them out. Makes good flies. Good for flies, huh? Yeah. Take some home for bone fish. <laughs> Three. Three sprigs. Look at that. They all curled up like that. Heck yeah. Sprigs. Yeah. Nice. All right, duck. Thank you. We're gonna enjoy. We got Chef Anthony here. He's gonna show us how to cook teal. Good thing they got a bunch yesterday because we only got one today. We got some teal breasts there. Anthony's gonna show us how to cook it up. Oh, so, pepper. What else we got? A little bit of cavenders. Cavenders. Just like a steak. Now we see them turn around the bottom there. Folks. Always let these rest just like a steak. It'll so stay juicy. Look at that, looks good. Look at that. Teal by Chef Anthony. It's going down. It's good. Shot my first teal this morning. They shot quite a few yesterday. We're eating lunch right now. I really did not know what to expect with the duck. It's really good. It's really tender. Yeah. It's good. Chef Andy's in the house. Oh man, my first teal. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're cleaning the deer, folks. We in Oklahoma now. All right, we got back strap there, guys. Going in. Mm -hmm. Got yeah, Bobby. It's gonna be good. Oh, Sarah. Well, <laughs> All right, back. Nick, you're so hungry. Here goes your buck, Nick. Jeff, Jeff. Oh, listen to the sizzle. A little sizzle in the sizzle. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got the sizzle now. Look at this. Holy moly. We ain't good now, boys. Well, boys? We well, got, boys? We got backstrap. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wish you were here, Anthony. And no hunting trip would be complete without a fire, guys. All right, here's the barn we're staying at. This is Jeff's hunting lodge. It's really cool. From the outside, it just looks like a kind of plain barn, you know? But check the inside out. Got a garage in there. Lots of animal heads on the wall from hunting trips. That one. And the inside's nice too. Take our shoes off. I and mean, you would never expect it to be this nice in here. It's awesome. Look at that. Look at the kitchen. Nice table. More animals. We got a dart board for darts. This basketball hoop is Jeff's favorite all the time. And Slam dunks it like he'll do it like 50 times in a row. Yeah, Jeff. And then you come up the stairs and check out the rocks here. Ooh, look at that. Look at that deer skull. Big old high ceiling up there. Another bathroom. Another bedroom in here. We got it all. Not a bad place to spend a few days and go hunting with your friends. That's what it's about. Well. All right, that's the end of our hunting trip. We got a couple bucks. Zach and Sarah sat eight times. No critters for them, but. Oh, Cap, you got a nice buck here this week. Did a good job. But that's what keeps you going back, so. 
It's part of the gig. Yep, enjoying the outdoors, hanging out with some friends, and making some new ones. Looking forward to eating more deer when we get home.